Come on, don't go, don't go, not yet. Not yet. Please, please, I need you. Griffith, Griffith needs you, my son. He'll do fine without me. He'll still have you. You and your dream of the United Wales. I'm so hard to read. It's hard to to remember. You'll have my memory with you. Griffith will as well. You have to let me go. Llewellyn, Prince of Gwyneth, your aspirations are admirable. I see it fit during this precarious time to offer you an opportunity. What sort of opportunity, Your Highness? Our alliances with the French are weakened. They have taken my Normandy lands. In order to strengthen our alliance, I offer you my daughter Joan, her hand for you. I am uh, honored by such an offer that I graciously accept. <laughs> what a grand wedding feast! I believe that today marks the beginning of something beautiful. I'm inclined to agree with you, Your Majesty. Mm, you feel like a cat, do you know that? Mm, it's no wonder, my lord. That was a very satisfying homecoming. <laughs> Our position is threatened, my loyal barons, by this young Welsh upstart Llewellyn. His insolence knows no bounds. He invaded the land of Poes against my express command. What do you propose to do, Your Majesty? We march on Llewellyn. We must show this Llewellyn that his bravado will be met with equal force. Prepare your troops. We march in a fortnight. Llewellyn is a dead man. My Lord Granger has fallen. The English forces have breached our defenses.
you know, at the top. I'm frightened. You ask too much of me, Joan. My lord. The Welland's defiance must be met. Women will not survive without Llewellyn. The, the people will not accept Norman Roy. My lord, please. Consider my people, my husband. Do you care for this Welsh prince? My lord, at the time of my marriage, I cared. For our kingdom, I cared for your consent. I cared for the strength of our nation. But now, my lord, after all these many years, I have grown fond of him, and I have found great joy, and I have found a people that I love. It looks as though I do not have a choice. Thank you. I shall have compensation for my campaign and that of my Welsh allies. Livestock, 20,000 head. You don't, you just want to understand, if you take that much livestock, my people will starve. No, you don't understand. Your position here is not to argue or negotiate. Your position here is to listen to what I want, and what I want is livestock. And your lands in Gwyneth, west of the river Conwy what you call the Perfetherwad. Among my faults, naivety is not one of them. I know, of course, that you would not obey me if I were to lead you to your own designs. Therefore, I shall take a hostage. Your son, Griffith. No. Need we remind you, sir? that you are in no position to negotiate. My uncle who are at the fiery iron on your fatal gene. Just remember that your quarrels with me, not with myself. He is a hostage, not a scapegoat. His life is quite literally in your hands. Father! Father, why are you here? Well, uh, you remember John's alliance with the Welsh princes last summer? Of course. Well, John, as he always does, pushes victory a little too far. After taking over the Ceredigion and forcing Frisiaic and Awain into submission, John seized the Ceredigion for himself. Suddenly Norman Castle started bringing, springing up in Aberystwyth, the pair of Edelwad, Powys, Maegun, and Fries, of oh, Fries Creek, that is. They saw the lay of the land, flipped over to our side, and are now rebelling against King John. So now he's called me over to his court, I guess to try and strengthen whatever treaty he thinks we may have. Father, we must retake the Perveduad. The Welsh lords will stand behind us. King John has never before killed a hostage, even in cases of prompt betrayal. Nevertheless, I will do anything for Gwyneth. We will take back the fair vet a lot. We'll make our country proud. Welsh resistance must be supported.
is truly the cause of God, he and his people must be free from their alliance. This Llewellyn seems a resolute man, one in need of our support. His struggles with King John could be to our advantage. Got a response. I think the time has come to put aside our differences and band against our common enemy, Does the English he King. Expect us to forget you is a bad one, mistrust and betrayal. I'd like to think I can learn from my mistakes. Can you say the same? You're making a mistake, Llewellyn. John's hatred for you is mortal. You go into the Brevet of the Lord, and you will have an English army within Wales within a fortnight. I don't intend to lose this time. Of course, we can do nothing. Just continue letting the English king play us off against each other as he always has. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, my Goon? To wait until John has the time to deal with your rebellion and you find yourself facing an English army who would care to dig young? I made a mistake by siding with John. I may not like you, but this agreement makes sense. We're better, we're stronger together. Well, what say with the rest of you? It didn't, it was, your rebellion didn't go too well allowed against John last summer. What makes you think this time is easy? I mean, it is easy for John last summer. And then cut me off from my natural allies of the Welshmen. This time it won't be so easy for him. We won't be acting as rebels, but at the urging of the Pope. Additionally, I've sent convoys to the French court. You've been thinking about this for quite some time. I had nine months with which to think of little else. John has no shortage of enemies. I talked to some of them this Easter when I was at his court. They're men, Englishmen, in John's court who hate him as much as we did. If John brings an army into Wales, he'll find he has as much to fear from his own barons as he does from the Welsh. Need I say more? No. How is this possible? How has he managed to retake almost all of Gwyneth? It seems that they've rallied all of the Welsh forces. They've gathered all of the princes and under Gwyneth's lead have marched. A traitor! He shall pay for this insolence. Hang the hostage. Your Majesty, a letter from Lady Joan. Father, I write this with the safety of my husband as well as you in mind. There is a conspiracy among your bands to betray you to your foes or make you a prisoner during your coming Welsh campaign. If you go through with your invasion, you expose yourself to assassination or other overthrow. Also, Please protect Griffith for me, your daughter, Joan. Do not hang Griffith. We shall stay our forces for now. We need to talk about Dabbit. What about her? I am becoming concerned about the birthright. I, I don't want our family torn apart. I don't want the kingdom torn apart. I want to be strong. We must give the kingdom in full to Dabith. Do you understand? But you know, you know the Welsh law demands that all the sons are ready. Yes, I know. And I know it is hard, and I know that there is tradition. Let this kingdom be torn apart. 
our sons, our family. English barons have rebelled against King Yan. The time has come to whack. I plan to capture Shrewsbury. I've allied myself with their cause. We'll coordinate our attacks with theirs in London. You mean to move against the king? The rebellious barons intend to get them to force the king to meet their demands. This could be our chance to secure our independence, to get our perpetual sovereignty recognized. The time to move is now. I think we can take Shrewsbury without a blow being Godspeed. Thank you. Your support means more than you know. An oath, moreover, has been taken as well on our part as on the part of the barons that all these conditions aforesaid shall be kept in good faith and without evil intent. Given under our hand, the above named and many others being witnesses, in the meadow which is called Runnymede between Windsor and Staines, on the 15th day of June in the 17th year of our reign. This is madness. Bring the charter. John, the men will rally your son. 
Perhaps they may even convince our enemies to break with friends and rejoin us. You say it, Peter. The best I can do for my son is to die. Tell, send messages for me. Tell Pembroke to safeguard my son's crown. Tell Isabella to trust Pembroke and you. And tell Thwellen. Take care of my daughter. Your wish is my command, sir. So. Your Highness King Henry, let this treaty be a testament to the accord between our peoples. May they bring us prosperity and stability. Agreed, Prince of Let us endeavor to ensure our rivals live in peace and uh, you sold our birthright for a fleeting peace. It's How could you pay homage to the English after all they've done? We don't, we, it's not subjugation that we are after. It's enduring peace. Think of what his father did to you. That child, that he made you grovel, made you beg. And look where I am now. Look what we have now. Welsh independence. An English lackey ruling an English fief. Griffith, the terms of this treaty are better than even I could have expected. You're deluding yourself. Griffith, our people need a respite from war. They need time to rebuild. This treaty gives us that. It's a pragmatic choice, one that secures our future. I will not throw away our peace for some nationalistic idea of honor. Not for you, not for anyone. Maybe that's because you have none. Joe, it is always good to see you. You always handle yourself well in these delicate matters of negotiation. Thank you, Lord William. I assume you found the proceedings to your liking. Hmm. Ever the diplomat, Lady Joan. <laughs> but I must admit that my interests lie beyond these negotiations. Perhaps we can find some common ground. I'm afraid our interests are not aligned in all matters. Excuse me, I have some other business to attend to. It's time. You need to name David as your heir. Aaron. He's the one with the wisdom of prudence this country needs. And so that is why I have chosen to name Dad as heir to continue with his life. Why? I told you that there needs to be one ruler for why? Why Daphne and not me? Let that unbalance the scales, not when there's so much at stake. Now, I 
understand what I've taken from you. I do not begrudge you your anger, but you and I both know you would never be able to make the compromises that I have had to make to maintain this country. Papa, all my life I've done everything I could to make you proud. I thought you were. I am. There's no one in the world I would rather have beside me in battle. But the fact is, David has the patience that Gwyneth needs at this stage. Now, I hope, I understand why you're angry. I hope that once your anger cools, you'll hear what I am going to say. That you will always have a place in my court, Rot in my life, in, in my heart. hell! Try, but I'll prove myself worthy. I was trying to protect us, to protect David. You overstepped, Joe. I could have handled it. You should have come to me. I trusted you. I guess you didn't me. You know very well that I have been trying so very hard these days. I don't know anything anymore. I have to go to Carrie. I've just received word that an English law is not based there. I need to find David. Our entire marriage, we have been doing things together. Our love has been united. Our, our plans have been united. Can you not see that everything that I've done has been for us? Your everything! Cause, your cause is irreparable, Tom. Tom, I need you to understand that. I don't have time for this anymore. I need to go to Carrie. Send David after me. Don't leave like this. I'm going. Um, I hate your last kind of 
meant was quite inexcusable. I was in a drunken folly, you see, and I must apologize and beg your forgiveness. Your behavior was disconcerting. I will not deny that. Um, but I don't know many men who would admit such a fault so openly. So I must give credit where credit's due for knowing your faults. I do. And I must say that I'm quite impressed with your conduct as of late with the ordeal with your son. The way you've behaved yourself is a testament to your character. It has been a trying time. I can understand the weight of such a responsibility. Your family's fortunes are intricately tied to the threads of policy and diplomacy. <sighs> yes. And to make things worse, ever since the Wellen has named death this is heir, King Henry has been against us at every turn. And it's not just Abbott's future that I'm worried about. The Wellens' desire for a unified Wales could be put in complete jeopardy if King Henry does not recognize. His claim to the throne, and he sees my illegitimacy as an issue. It could pit all of England against us. The intricate dance of politics is certainly a treacherous one. However, there may be a solution beneficial for all parties involved. I would rather not speak about these things in the presence of company. Of course. Actions caused me to wonder that perhaps a diplomatic marriage between the two of them may be beneficial for all parties involved. It certainly would solidify David's ties to England, as well as smooth over any concerns that King Henry may have. Unfortunately, Isabella is currently to be engaged with the Earl of Essex. I believe they are to be betrothed even tonight. However, I could send word expressing my intentions and perhaps arrange something. Hmm. A marriage alliance between Death and Isabella. It, it could solve all of our confusions. Would you be willing to write a letter tonight? I may be willing to do so, but not without some assurances on your part. What type of assurances? I will write the letter if you allow me into your bedchambers tonight. Alone. You would dare. Mm, small price to pay for the security of your family, of your kingdom, Lady Jo. Consider it carefully.
times the letter. Please don't do this, William. We can find another arrangement, any arrangement. Mm, now, now, don't feign any unwillingness now, my dear. You got your letter, and we both know what that means. It's all right, dear. You made your choice. Now all that's left is the action. It's just wasn't there's that you do him. You believe me? I don't need to believe your words to know. Neither of you have ever been good at hiding your feelings. Mm -hmm. Which is why I still don't understand why you did it. Mm. What does he say about me, Dad? Says you're dead to him. That's what I expected. But it's strange, Mother. His words don't meet his actions. He provides for you, keeps you here in relative comfort, even allowed me to come and see you. I just have to wait and see.
You have nothing to say to me? Now that you're here, I don't know where to begin. I want the truth. Can I trust you for that much, for the truth? Yes. You did bring De Braus into our chamber that night? Is yeah. that true? Yes. Do you blame me for his death? No. No, you had a right to. You do not mourn him. Did you love him? No, never. Then why? I'm not sure I even understand fully even now. But it is true what I told you about the proposal. It was a choice made in desperation, in confusion. I was trying to secure the throne for ourselves. trying to protect him and protect us. What of us, John? From our marriage, our love. I never stopped loving you. Even in the midst of my mistakes, my heart was always with you. wanted your love, your forgiveness. Perhaps that's why, after you left and you sent those unfeeling letters, I did not consciously act on my frustration. I never meant to justify... Since you can never know, why bother dwelling on it? For well, why have you not yet divorced me? Will you tell me this then? Will you tell me what you mean to do with me? Until tonight, I did not know. I've been struggling, John. With the weight of our past and the uncertainty of our future. I've been rebelling against my duty. I know I should divorce you for the scandal and the betrayal. I've always known what I ought to do. But now I know what I want to do. What? This. Burdens, John. And I can't deny I've missed you more than I care to admit these past memories. I give you my forgiveness, and I ask for yours in return. I've missed you. Are you? Time to go in. This is madness, my lord. The people will never accept me. They'll only think of me as a betrayer, an adulterer. They may not understand, but they'll accept you. Yes, but what about your reputation? They'll think that you're bewitched, that I, I put some spell on you. 
John, these are dangers I've considered already. What is it worth the risk? John, I want you by my side. As my lady, my lover, my wife. Do you remember what you said about my leaving last night? This time. This time I mean to put you first. Why are you in such a hurry to get back in? What didn't I tell you? It's David and Isabella's wedding. What? 